Sleep became very frightening to me and my wife. I, I didn't have control over myself in my sleep. At first it didn't happen that much, but then after about a year it started to get worse. My wife told me that uh, I would kick and, and, and grab at her. I had no idea I was doing that. We've been married 48 years. I would never hurt her. Well, eventually, she started sleeping in her own bedroom because we were both afraid that I might punch her while in a dream and asleep. I'd wake up and I'd, I'd have bruises on my hands. I, uh, I once punched the wall, uh, having a dream that I, I was being attacked. I, I knocked over the, the, the bedroom lamp. I broke that all to pieces because I was flailing my arms around in another dream. After a while, sleep became so, so frightening that I was afraid to go to sleep because it was so dangerous. In this case, we are concerned about a parasomnia. A parasomnia is a sleep disorder in which a patient has abnormal behavior during sleep, such as sleepwalking. Most parasomnias are classified in whether they occur in REM or non-REM sleep. People have been known to hurt themselves and their bed partner. This can be scary and disturbing for both people. The nature and content of dreams may also be altered, with for a tendency for focus on violent and often defensive situations. During the patient's sleep study, we closely monitor the muscle tone during REM sleep. In this example, we can see the normal decrease in muscle tone during REM sleep. In the patient's case, however, we can see the increase in muscle tone during REM sleep. Sometimes we can even see the actual abnormal behavior, but that is not necessary for a diagnosis. Medications are available for this disorder. Well. I now sleep much better since I started taking the medication that my uh, sleep doctor prescribed. Uh, we share a bedroom and we both feel safe about it. I no longer wake up with new bruises and cuts. My wife sleeps comfortably now knowing that I'm okay and she won't be hurt. I'm no longer afraid of sleep. And I am very thankful that this disorder can effectively be treated. One very important aspect of REM sleep behavior disorder is that it is frequently associated with neurodegenerative diseases, primarily Parkinson's disease. REM sleep behavior disorder will sometimes manifest years before the patient has any other signs of Parkinson's disease. This is a delicate topic that sleep medicine specialists discuss carefully with patients diagnosed with REM sleep behavior disorder to ensure proper counseling about the potential risk of developing a neurodegenerative disease.